Good morning, friends. I hope you're doing well today. Happy Friday. It's kind of a rainy Friday today, isn't it? But I hope you're having a good one and you're ready for today's story. So get cozied up and listen up. Today's story is called Dogosaurus Rex. Could you imagine having a dinosaur for a pet, much less a T-Rex? That'd be pretty crazy. I think dinosaurs are so cool. Even when I was your age, I was so fascinated by dinosaurs. I even have a picture for you. When I was about your guy's age, I went to a museum in Chicago and I took this picture of a fossilized T-Rex. It is huge. I don't know if you can tell. But I can't wait to read and find out what this boy is going to do when he has a pet T-Rex. Dogosaurus Rex by Anna, by Anna Stanisowiski. Illustrated by Kevin Hawkes. Dogosaurus Rex. Ben couldn't wait to find the best dog in the world. At the shelter, there were cute dogs and funny dogs, and loud dogs and smelly dogs. None of them were quite right. Then, Ben saw a large cage in the corner. She's perfect, he said. I'll call her Sadie. Rawr, said Sadie, wagging her tail. That dog sure has a strange bark, said Ben's mom. Ben couldn't wait to show off his new pet. He used a, a garden hose for a leash and walked Sadie around town. She's kind of funny looking, said the neighborhood kids. Does she know any tricks? I wonder if a dinosaur would learn tricks fast or slow. Sit, Sadie, Ben called. Sadie sat on top of a car. Roll over, Sadie, Ben called. Sadie rolled over right through a fruit stand. Fetch, Sadie, Ben called. Sadie ran off and came back with a mail truck. I think it's best if you take your pet home said a police officer. I hope they don't get in trouble. But when Ben brought Sadie home, she couldn't fit through the front door. You'll have to build her a doghouse, said Ben's mom. So Ben started building and building until he built the biggest doghouse in town. Sadie seemed to like her new home. You're the best dog in the world, Ben said. Rubbing her belly, Sadie closed her eyes. Roar, she said. The next morning, Ben took Sadie out to do her business. She did lots of it. Lots and lots of it. Clean up after your pet, a neighbor cried. Ben plugged his nose, grabbed a shovel, and got to work. Then it was time to give Sadie a bath. Ben gathered up all the soap in the house and took her to the lake. Sadie jumped in the water and drank it all in one gulp. Don't come back, the lifeguard yelled. When they got home, Sadie's belly rumbled for dinner. Ben poured out some dog food. Sadie ate the whole bag and all the rest of the food in the house. This dog sure is a lot of trouble, said Ben's mom. We might have to bring her back to the shelter. Ben hugged Sadie tight. He had to find a way to keep her. The next day, Ben walked Sadie through town. Everyone avoided her. Then a shout rang out from the fruit stand. Stop! Thief! Ben knew just what to do. Sit, Sadie, he called. 
Sadie sat right in the robber's path, but the thief jumped into a mail truck and got away. Roll over, Sadie, Ben called. Sadie rolled over in front of the robber's truck, but the thief ran into the farmer's field and got away. Fetch, Sadie, Ben called. Sadie barreled after the robber. Ben had never seen her run so fast. And when she came back, she had the thief clenched in her teeth. Everyone in town cheered. That's quite a pet you have there, said the police officer. I think I might have a job for her. So do I, said the mailman. So do I, said the farmer. Soon, Sadie was the most popular dog in town, and Ben knew he'd be sorry. Let me start over. And Ben knew he'd be able to keep her forever. You're the best dog in the world," said Ben, rubbing Sadie's belly. Sadie closed her eyes. Roar, she said. Seems like it turned into a happy ending, didn't it? Well. That was a pretty silly book, wasn't it? What about you guys? Are you interested in dinosaurs? Did you know the study of dinosaur fossils is called paleontology? And a person who studies that is called a paleontologist. Um, paleontologists don't just um, look at dinosaur fossils. They look at other animals and plants that have been fossilized too. If that's something that you'd be interested in, with your parents' permission, you can go check out a video in the description box. Uh, there's a video by SciShow that I've linked in there, and there's also a website um, from the Museum of Natural History that has uh, games and things for you to do all about paleontology. All right, let me know if you find something awesome or you do something awesome. Send me a picture so I can post it on Dojo. And I will see you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys.